so we've got a disco going on and we've got soup being made put them together and what have you got disco soup berlin paris new york and now the most important of them all tiverton has hosted devon's very first event of its kind the pannier market was full of dancing spring beans as the community action group set out to eat to the beat in an effort to reduce food waste here in the county, households waste £150 million worth of food. But instead of moaning, the group has turned a problem into a party. We don't want to whinge at people, we want to have a great time. So we've got loads of activities going on and we have gathered about 100 kilograms of food that would have been thrown away by shops and supermarkets in the Panya market here. And we're turning it into um, a delicious meal, three different soups. And we've got these amazing volunteers here today who are uh, cooking it up and having a good time. And it looks certainly quite buzzing here today. Yeah, it's fantastic. I think a little bit of 70s disco helps. And um, <laughs> yeah, hopefully later everyone's going to be on the dance floor and we'll go away with a full tummy and feeling good. And sweating in the kitchen with Nicola and Heather from Tiverton's Grubs Up, a cafe which cooks tasty meals using surplus from local shops and supermarkets. The duo are also part of the National Love Food Hate Waste campaign. People get so mixed up with sell-by dates and actual cook-by dates, they think as soon as it's a sell-by date, they can throw it away. But, I mean, as you can see now, it's perfectly good. What's wrong with that? And, of course, that's why Love Food Hate Waste is the campaign that's uh, here tonight doing things. Tell us a little bit more about, about the campaign. OK, I'll do my best. I mean, I think I'd, what we're trying to do is just, one, first of all, get people having fun doing it. Um, so partly that's why you get people actually getting involved in the cooking, um, so they can see that it's very, very easy to make soup. Um, they can make it at home, so rather than chucking a load of stuff out, they can just get on and do a bit of soup for Sunday lunch or whatever. Um, I think it's also flagging up how much is actually going, it's not huge amounts from the supermarkets, but the, you know we're getting all of this from supermarkets, markets, farmers markets, and it all just would have gone in the bin, which is a disaster, because it's all very edible. So um, it just feels really good to be doing something that you know everyone gets involved in and has a bit of fun. You know, a huge um, response from the supermarkets today and yesterday. With, you know, masses of stuff, even from as far away as Wellington. Wow. Yeah. And with soup ready to be served, it's clear that those eating here tonight, young and old, are taking the message on board. Well, it just helps the environment, really, and it helps us, I guess, keep budgets down, especially with food. There's a lot of people throwing food away when there's no need for it, really. It really helps the environment, and it's just because so many supermarkets waste food, and it's just a really good way of stopping it. I found out that food being wasted is a big problem and we need to stop wasting too much food. Recycling is important and well, the more food we throw away the more money we're wasting. So with the soup being a hit, we did indeed go home with full tummies. But also the hope that tonight will send a message to others to think before they throw their food away. Lewis Clark, Devon Live, Tiverton.